Hey guys, Sock here from Sock eTech, and in today's video, we have some amazing news. A powerful feature that Samsung recently removed is now back on Samsung devices via the latest update. Now, the feature I'm talking about is the Smart Select feature, which is a feature that was recently revamped and updated and also enhanced but then also removed some very popular features in the process. As an example, they took away the GIF animation capture feature from Smart Select recently, but now it is back. So let me show you what's going on. I'm gonna keep the old version right here, and I'm gonna show you all the new features on the new version right here. So first, let's get the update. So to get the update, click the link down below. Once you click the link, you're gonna be at my website, then what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you want to click this link. When you click that link, it is gonna take you to the Samsung Capture Update screen in the Galaxy Store, and you can see they have brought back the Animation Maker right here, and we have a bunch of other features I'm gonna go over one by one. They also added the pinning feature. They now allow you to drag the selected area and the touch range has been modified. I'm gonna show you all those features. So first, let's do the update and then I'm gonna show you what's going on. So here's the old version right here, Smart Select. I'm gonna bring that up, okay? Now we have the new version. So I am gonna bring that up as well. Tap, and as you can see, overall they look the same. But now look at this. When I select an area on this side, I get this square. If I wanna move this square and if I try to press it, it disappears, okay, that's not good. But now when I select an area, I can actually drag this anywhere I want. Thank God, okay? So again, let me just show that to you real quick. So if I select an area, I cannot drag it, it disappears and it's making me redo it in different ways. That's not what I want, this is what I want. So that is perfect. But of course, you guys are interested in the GIF Maker, let me show that to you real quick. All right, so let's bring in a video file which I'm gonna turn into a GIF. So I'm gonna have this video playing right here, I'm gonna say play, and I'm gonna just go out so it pops up at the bottom, so here it is, okay? So now what I can do is I can bring in the Smart Select, Tap on this one right here, and just select any area randomly, and then tap on this button right here. Let me just move this a little bit. So tap on the Create GIF button right here, and that's gonna bring the window that you can put anywhere you want to create a GIF. Now over here, I'm gonna say High Quality, and I'm gonna tap on Record. Okay, let's just wait for a little action here. There we go. So I can do this for 15 seconds, it is now recording that, it's gonna transform that into a GIF. I'm gonna tap on stop, okay? And now what I can do is, let me just kill this video. Now what I can do is I can see the preview right here as you can see, we have a brand new GIF. I can even pin it by the way, but I can save it now into my gallery. And when I go into my gallery, you can see here's my GIF. Fantastic guys, it is in fact back, that is beautiful. Okay, so what else do we have? We also have other enhancements, so I'm gonna bring this back again. Okay, so look at this. When I select an area, as soon as I select an area, I wanna be able to pin that area. But to do that right now, I would have to tap right over here and tap on pin. With the new option, look at what happens. I'm gonna select this area, okay? And look at this, I have the option to pin it right here. So instead of tapping this button, and tap in on pin, that's a two-step process. Now that is pinned over here, I can now just tap right over here and I can pin it at one go. So that is also a new enhancement and I think that is also fantastic. Let's X this out, okay, great. Under what is new, it says the touch range has been modified. So that's also good news, let me show you what that is. So if I bring in Smart uh, Capture here, Samsung Capture, now if I select an area, the problem recently was this touch area, this touch range right here was minimum. So sometimes you would miss it, okay? So if I put my hand here, it messes the whole thing up. Sometimes it's hard to just resize it. Now they have made that even easier. So now it's much more easy if you select something to just resize it. Because what they did was 
they modified, they made the touch range in the edges bigger. So that is great as well. So let's try this. That got messed up. Okay, with this one, look at this. The touch range is modified, so it's easier to uh, reselect any area that you want. And finally, they are mentioning that you can simply touch the area you want to quickly and smartly select. That I think is an existing feature, so I can tap on anything and it's gonna smartly select that particular area. I think they just made it a little bit better, okay? So fantastic, guys. The gift maker is back. The pin feature is now one touch, and you can drag this anywhere you want instead of it reactivating the whole thing from the beginning. Fantastic, guys. So we have that update. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.